Good morning, everyone. Good morning. As you have seen my topic and as we have just read our scriptures coming from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 24 and 26, Judges chapter 4, verse 21, Judges chapter 6, verses 11 and through 12, and Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 through 13. And my topic this morning, putting on your big boy or big girl pants, killing the monsters under the bed. <coughs> now, um, that's a phrase I first heard a few years ago and you know, I thought about um, as um, a child, you know, I grew up in an era before Pampers, and so did my sister. And one of the things I remember is when my sister came along, there was a bucket that sat in the bathroom. It was a white bucket that had black trim around the edges, and it was called a diaper pail. Oh, see, some of y'all were saying that with me. <laughs> and of course, there were these little plastic pants that went over top of the diaper. And I remember watching folks could do the diaper thing with one hand, hold pens in your mouth, hold a conversation, and put diapers on the baby, hold the baby's legs up, put the diaper on, and I used to wonder how I never saw babies got stuck with diaper pens. <laughs> and then we went from diapers to training pants. And you taught the child how to use the facility, right? And then they came along the era of the Pampers. And then they had something now called pull-ups. And this year when I uh, went back after teaching and went back substitute teaching and this year I taught pre-K and nothing like getting your kneecaps invaded every day. Hi, Mr. Jackson! <laughs> and they grab you around your knees. So some days when you saw me come in here and I'd come up those steps going, oof, that's because my kneecaps had been invaded so much. <laughs> Plus sitting on little people chairs, my knees hurt. But you know, um, there were some of the kids that were just not ready for getting out of pull-ups. But there was one little fella that when he finally had mastered the art of knowing when he had to go, and he was no longer afraid of flushing the facility, that he was not